Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tracy. Today I'm going to be reviewing the ColourPop Snow White collection. It's available as of February 16th. That's the same exact day that I'm filming this video, so hopefully I can get this video up on the same day. I will have this collection linked down below in my description box for you guys along with a discount code which gets you $5 off of your purchase. I do not earn commission if you use my discount code but I do earn commission if you shop through my link down below and that supports me and my kids and I'm just very thankful if you do shop through my link. Okay. I would also really appreciate if you like this video give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and let's go ahead and jump into today's makeup tutorial slash review. No I'd rather be waking up with you. Set up alone in your room, slept with the light on, waiting up for you, don't, I don't wanna be. So first up, we have the Magic Mirror. ColourPop came out with a mirror for this collection, which is really great because, you know, Snow White, mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the fairest of them all? It is I. So it is a purple mirror and it has gold writing on here it says snow white disney make a wish and unlock the magic you turn it over and it has this peel off thing right here but you can see the little face you can definitely peel this off hold on i just put on my press-ons all right so you peel it off and there is your mirror so we're gonna definitely be using this today the next item that's in the collection is this just one bite lippy scrub you can see that it's an apple hopefully this is apple flavored but you have your deadly apple right here. This is the packaging. Okay, you take it out and it is a cute little apple like this. Right in the front, it says just one bite. This is definitely apple flavored. All right, and then next up we have the Love's First Kiss Lip Kit. And this comes with a lipstick, a lip pencil, and a lip gloss. This lipstick doesn't have a matte finish. It gives you that shiny finish, which I'm really not a fan of when it comes to red lipsticks and them being shiny. So this is not my favorite. Next up, this is Thy Magic Spell Lip Kit and it does contain the Evil Queen Lipstick Jealous Much Lippy Pencil and Queen G Lip Gloss. I think that's what it says on the back. Queen, Queen something lip gloss, Queen G. Hopefully I like this color better because I did not like the red one. This lip gloss makes a great lip topper. I mean, I guess this is better than the red one. Not my cup of tea. I like very pink lipsticks or nude, but this, mm -mm, not red, not this wine color. But again, that's just my preference. You guys may be into this. <laughs> I just wanted to show you guys. All the Super Shock Shadows have similar packaging. So let me just show you guys with this one. You guys can see it. On the back, it has a little opening so you can see the name of the Super Shock Blush. I think I said Super Shock Shadow. <laughs> this, these are Super Shock Cheek Blush. Shiss. <laughs> I think I'm going to put this color on right now. This is the color Fair Enough. I think this one works the best with my skin tone and it does have a little bit of shimmer so they're like ooh you guys can see you don't need a highlighter you get it with this blush that is beautiful okay let me go over here I think I made the right choice I do like a lot of blush so leave me alone just a little more why not let's let's get it on the temples Again, this one is in the color Fair Enough. This color here is going to be more for fair skin tones. And this one is in the color I Wish. I Wish? I Wish I Wish. This is a lot lighter. Let me swatch it on the back right here. I think that would make a really pretty highlighter for me. But as for blush, I would not get the pigment that I like. All right, and this next one is in the color Just Rosy. This might work for an evening look for my skin tone, or this could work for somebody that has a deeper complexion than I do. So let me go ahead and swatch it. It is like a beautiful color. There you have a swatch of those other two blushes. Let me know which one is your favorite. Last but not least, this is the packaging for the Dreams Come True Press Powder Palette. It contains a total of 12 eyeshadows. 
And here's what the actual palette looks like. It has all of the eyeshadow names on the back of the eyeshadow palette. It doesn't have a mirror, but you guys can see how cute Snow White looks in there with her little birdies. And this here is what the eyeshadow colors look like. This palette has a total of eight shimmer shadows and it has four mattes. Let's go ahead and get started with an eyeshadow look. I have to go pick up my kids here soon, so we're not going to do anything too crazy. Or maybe we will. I'm using the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Eyeshadow Primer. Let me just get it all over the lid. I'm using the color In the Land, which is this one right here. Girl, we might do something crazy. Not too much, but not too little. I think it'll be a really pretty look. Nothing less for me. If you guys see this video on February 16th, it is after I have already picked up my kids from school, fed them, did homework, and all of that, so call me Wonder Woman if you want. Because I also had to edit this video, and that's a lot of work. And next, I'm gonna take the color Someday. <coughs> God bless me. We're gonna use this color to blend out the outer edges of the previous color that we just used. Someday, my prince will come. Yeah. Singing was definitely not in my bucket of talents. And I have many talents, just not that one. You know what? I'm gonna go back into In the Land and we're gonna pack it on in the crease again. These eyeshadows are pretty buildable. So now I'm taking the color Such Grace, and this one is such a perfect color. When you want to go for like a no makeup makeup look, but you just want to add a little bit of color to your lid. It's also great for transitioning colors. Again, I'm going to go back into In the Land. I'm also going to take the color In the Land and apply it to my lower lash line. And then next I'm taking the color True Love, which is this gold shade, and I'm going to be applying it all throughout the lid. And as I always mention to you guys, I have to spray my brush down with some setting spray. This also helps with making the color more vibrant, but it also prevents fallout on your face. And since I do have sensitive eyes, I try to avoid shimmers around my eye as much as possible. But when you're reviewing stuff, you gotta go for it, you know? So here we are, me risking my eyesight for you. <laughs> you better like this video. Next up, I wanna brighten this inner corner by using the color with a, what's it called? With a smile. And since we are applying this close to the water duct, I wanna avoid using a shimmer because again, I'm very sensitive to shimmers around the eye area. So right here, we're gonna go in with a matte shade to brighten things up. I'm gonna kind of blend it into that gold shade that we have right there. Trust the process. I definitely do prefer using matte shades to brighten inner corners. I don't know, it just looks nice. Taking a smaller brush, I'm still using the color In the Land and I'm applying it to this bottom corner right here. To close off the eye look, I'm gonna go ahead and repeat the same thing over to this eye. I'm gonna apply some mascara, lashes, maybe some eyeliner. I'm thinking liquid liner. And then I'll come back to share with you guys the lip products. I'm back. I told you guys that I was not a big fan of either lip kit. So I'm just going to go with the one that I would mostly gravitate. I don't know, girl. I don't like either, <laughs> either color. It's just not my, my jam. But we're going to use one of the lip kits. This one here is... This one here is the Thy Magic Spell Lip Kit. So first we're gonna go into the ColourPop Lippy Pencil. This one is in the color Jealous Much. It glides on so easily and it's very pigmented. Don't lie, I know you do your lip liner like this too. We're making some dumb faces, but it's okay. We're good. You guys can judge me all you want. I'm just kidding. Ooh, I really feel like the freaking evil witch from the Snow White movie. And now we're gonna go into the evil quint Quinn Queen lipstick. All right, so this is what my lips look like without the lip topper. This is the lip gloss actually, but it works as a lip topper in my opinion. I do want to show you guys what it looks like on top of all this. So let me go ahead and do that for you guys. So it adds a little bit of sparkle as you guys can see, a little shininess on top of the lipstick. It also tastes really good. But if you do decide to do this, it does stain the the applicator so let me just wipe it off on a makeup towel and dip back in there what do you guys think let me know down below would you wear the lip gloss over it or would you have left it as it was 
questions. And that wraps up today's review of the ColourPop Snow White collection. Again, this collection is available as of February 16th. I'll have the collection linked down below in the description box along with the discount code. If you guys have any questions for me regarding these products, let me know down below in the comments or just say hello so that I know you're here watching my video and supporting me. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to just hang out with me and I'll see you hopefully in my next video. Bye guys. Have you shopped with me yet? Go ahead and take a look. I have so many eyelashes, different styles to complement any occasion. I also sell eyelash glue. I have press on nail sets that I hand paint with love myself. I sell press on nail kits, which you can do your own DIY nails, or maybe you wanna sell your own press on nails. I have so much to offer on my website, so go ahead and visit www.sonadoraofficial.com.